Commander. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. Hello and welcome to the video. This is the first video in my playthrough of this game. This is XCOM Enemy Unknown. This is a game where, effectively, we are saving the world. There is an alien menace which is affecting the planet and uh, it is up to us and our crack team of soldiers to try and stop it. I've actually skipped out a few uh, of the early things in the game um, just because I, th you know, I don't think that that interesting to look at. What are those? Oh, they're holographic things. Okay, whatever. Um, so we're actually a little way into the game. We've got some research on the go. We're building something. We've got 31 days to prove to our funding council that we are good for something. Which hopefully we will do. That's exactly, believe it or not, what we want to see. Okay. Commander, we've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. So... This is where we have to choose. We have to choose um, one of these sites, and they have different bonuses. So we need engineers to build things for us. We need scientists to learn about those things before we can build them. And we also need cash, because we need to pay people. I don't think that's going to be worth it. 200 is not all of that much. I'd actually say that scientists were probably the most important. So I think we're going to go for Edmonton, Canada. This is our squad. Uh, we have here Johannes Kepler. We have Hypatia. Archimedes of Syracuse. The game thinks his surname is of Syracuse. And Caroline Herschel. You are not ready for you yet. I don't want you. I want... Copernicus. Yes, Nicholas Copernicus will be joining us. Um... This is our squad. We're going to be going through basically the greatest physicists and scientists uh, and mathematicians of all time, and we're going to be entrusting them to save the world, or at least that's the idea. Good God, that's loud. So for those of you that aren't familiar with the game, um, this is a turn-based combat system where we are fighting an alien menace. And it is notoriously brutal. The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. So basically, we are now going to land, and we're going to fan out and just try and identify... I love this. There's like an alien, a no alien sign on the back of it. Um, Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. So this is all we... Sky. Five by five. Ugh. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Thank you. Right, so we can't see very much on the map. Uh, the thing about this game is it is quite scary, and it is very easy to get your men killed. So we're going to try and not do that. Uh, I say men. We do have Hypatia is actually in command. So there's a cover system. Um, having said that it's very easy to get yourself killed um, these shields that half shield indicates I'm half in cover if there's a full shield somewhere um, which would be like if I was against this wall then that means I'm completely in cover and obviously that's a pretty good thing the difficulty is we don't know where our enemies are going to come from I'm going to guess that there's some in there though but I'm gonna, let's fan out and see if we can find anybody and the way this works is you effectively have two turns per character. Um, I just use one turn by moving to there. I could m use the second turn to move again, but that means I then couldn't do anything. And the thing with this game is you have to be very tactical about where you move and, and where you put people because it's very easy to someone just to be left in the open. And if you are left in the open, you will die. So, you know, bear that in mind. Okay. 
how much of them? I don't think there's. Okay, there's not going to be anyone from this way. So let's make Copernicus up on the side. I might actually. Oh, I don't like this. Or I forgot how scary this game was. I haven't. I've never completed this game before. I've got about halfway through a playthrough, and then worst out um so i'm somewhat familiar with the controls but it's been a little while what we're going to do then is for all of these people's second turns we're just going to overwatch so overwatch just means that they're waiting for something they're waiting for for an alien to appear and if it appears you get a chance to shoot at it let's just see if that happens oh i hope that wouldn't happen okay um Kepler. So I have tried to make these guys look as much like their historical counterparts as possible, but there's obviously a little bit of uh, in, you know interpretation going on. This is an alien pod, uh, and these are this is the grisly after effect of of the aliens. They are abducting people, and uh, that kind of gossamer type stuff is what they they used to do. That so try and avoid that fate for Johannes Kepler. Oh, come on, please just spot somebody. Please, 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 please. Okay. Uh, right. Let's go here. Right. Archimedes is the oldest person on the squad. Uh, he was born in 287 BC. And is pretty much one of the greatest scientists of all time. He was the greatest mathematician of the classical era. Um, we actually did a feature on him, as we did with a few of the people that we're going to be covering uh, on the Science Hour. Uh, and then with Hypatia, he, he's the, uh, he, the these are the two ancients basically of of the, the squad. I just love that it's soldier of Syracuse, which I suppose is it's actually slightly ironic because he was killed in the siege of Syracuse when the Romans invaded. He very much wasn't a soldier. Ooh. Okay, so Hypatia's found something. Joy. Right, um... Okay, Kepler. Oh, these people. Everyone in this series is in, is just so interesting. Like, everybody has a really interesting story to tell. It's just sort of annoying that I can only tell them quite slowly. Oh, it was a rat. Right, go on. Okay, these are the aliens. These are sectoids, which are basically like your classic little green men. So we've got that to deal with. Archimedes has heard them. And Hypatia knows there's something over here. So what I'd like to do... Where did they go? They were over here, weren't they? I'd quite like to take them out. I'm going to leave Hypatia to watch over the left-hand side. I pointed at the screen. I don't know why, because you can't see it. And then we're going to move off Syracuse up. Right, where are you? There they are. So... 45% chance to hit. You are safe in cover. There's no way they can get to Kepler. So in that case, is it worth moving up? I just don't want to get you killed. Okay, balls to it. I should apologise, by the way. I will be swearing in this series because partly this is a, a game and games make me competitive. But also, it's quite a scary game, and I swear when I'm scared. So I'm sorry if that offends your sensibilities. Right, Copernicus, I'm going to put you on Overwatch. Next turn, you can flank. Hypatia, you're on Overwatch. Lieutenant of Syracuse, you're the only person that can now do anything. I would like you to let rip. Well done. To be fair, you are like, you know... 2,200 years old. Okay, so that's telling me that the other one is behind that car. Um, what he's done is he's used his turn to give extra life to that guy. Oof. Okay, right. So Kepler's pinned down. Archimedes, can we use you? Can we get you up here? Hmm. Can we get you up the side here? 49% chance. Let's go for it. Oh, just shoot that one. <laughs> he didn't even shoot through that window! Okay. Um, 
All right, Copernicus, let's move you up here. So, whilst Archimedes is not a very good shot, uh, he's actually, you could really regard him as being the founder of modern physics. Well, well, not modern physics, but he was the first person to start applying, or, well, no, he was one of the first people to start applying maths to physical situations. So he, in a way, was like the forerunner of all the, all, all the physics, which is just, it's applying maths to real things. Apparently gunfire is not one of those things. Go on, Kepler! Oh, come on, can none of you shoot? Right, you're in cover, just don't die. Okay, so he's being boosted again. Oh, I hoped you wouldn't do that! Oh, God, that was lucky. Archimedes could have been very much toast because of that. Right. Um, we don't have any medikits either, so if they die, that's it. Which I'd rather avoid. Can we get you, Copernicus? Let's move you up. Oh, great. We've just activated another one. Right. Can we take... Okay, 100% chance. Take him out, Copernicus. Yes! First kill goes to Nicholas Copernicus. Nikolaus Copernicus. Now, where was that other... There's one over there, and there was another squad over there somewhere, wasn't there? Hypatia, I want you... to move up. Oh, no! Oh, I thought that was the... Oh, we might have just... We just aggroed everyone. Great. Okay, now, Hypatia is a veteran of our first mission. Which means she's actually got a rather special ability. Oh, I can't fire it because I moved. Balls. Right, hunker down. Yeah, hunker down. Right. So she's got extra cover from that, basically. Archimedes is hit, but still alive. Thing is, right, if he... If this guy runs over here, he could flank either of these two, and I'm not sure... I'm not going to trust Archimedes to take another hit. So I'm going to move you... Mm. I'm going to move you in there. Jump through the window. Right. Kepler. You've already moved. It's just Kepler left. Okay. Mm. If we could get on the roof, that would be great, but I can't see any way of doing that. Okay. Not yet. Anyway, we develop like abilities through this game. Um, one of them is the ability to... Uh, grapple onto things, if you have the right equipment. Okay, so you can't see anything either, but let's put you on Overwatch, so that will hopefully pin this guy down. Let's see what he does. Oof. Right, that guy's subbing that guy. Okay. She's been shot at. Good. At the start of this game, you are so laughably outgunned. It's incredible. No! Oh. Rookie of Syracuse was killed. Brilliant. Okay, now what we might be able to do, though, is avenge his death with the other Greek on the squad. Come on. Yes! Ah, oh, three kills for Hypatia. So what happened there was I shot a rocket, which is her unique ability because she's because she's gone through one mission already. She's been promoted to a heavy, and there are various classes you can have. And um, that rocket killed these two aliens, but it also severed the connection that this alien had with this one, which killed it. So three kills in one. It, I, she was also just pretty badass, I guess. I, I, I they had so much more I wanted to talk about Archimedes. Um, I guess I can't <laughs> anymore. 
Okay, there's only 45% chance there. Copernicus. Move you up. Is that... That's still within the first turn, isn't it? Right, okay. It's possible to lay down suppressing fire if one of the classes, but it's not this one, I don't think. Yes! See you in hell. Thanks, Copernicus. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what a lot of Catholics thought about him at the time. That's for a future episode. Um, okay, Archimedes is dead. That's no big deal. It's not like I've done loads of research on him or anything. Ugh. All right. Uh, no. No. Let's move you back around here. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Archimedes... Um, so, one of the things I did at Oxford was I actually did a presentation on the history of Pi. It's something I'd still really like to do for uh, the YouTube channel. Was that, was that a car? I think a car just drove past, like, through all of this carnage. Mental. Um, and one of the really... Well, the first big player in the history of Pi was... Um, was Archimedes. 27% mm, chance. Let's see, let's take our chances. Oh my god. Mission accomplished. So, there were, what, four alien kills? Sorry, six alien kills. Four of them were due to Hypatia. That was amazing. Operation Soaring Sentinel. Well, one Sentinel has soared. Archimedes is no longer with us. Um, yeah, and, and he, he did this amazing method to estimate Pike, or the method of exhaustion. I will do a video about it in the future. But uh, he, was, he was pretty awesome. And dead. <laughs> Commander to the Situation Room. Commander to the Situation Room. Oh, what's the... Ke Kepler! Oh, no, Kepler didn't actually kill anyone. He just drew their fire. Okay. Uh, Lady Hypatia is just wiping the floor with everybody. Serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight, and the last ones out. Okay, so Copernicus has got a very dangerous job. The assault class is the guy that basically runs in, kicks the door down, and shoots a shotgun at whatever there is in the room. Um, often you don't know what's in the room until you kick the door down. So Copernicus's life expectancy is rather slim. Um, so that's this ability. And then basically you get promoted depending on how well you do in missions. So he's already got one HP extra from that. Um, and as you progress, you can choose, you know, one promotion or another. Okay, no one was injured either, which is, well, Archimedes was injured in a big way. Ah, okay, so we can now build labs. Ugh, this lady... I heard you. <laughs> this lady gets on my tits so much. Okay, right. Um, so we've got more, more scientists, but panics increased across the areas that we didn't rescue. Readings can't be right. If there were, that's a being of almost pure energy. Here they come. Yep, you're wrong then, basically. And we are also in very deep trouble. 